Minocycline is a broad-spectrum tetracycline antibiotic, and has a broader spectrum than the other members of the group. It is a bacteriostatic antibiotic, classified as a long-acting type. As a result of its long half-life it generally has serum levels to a euro four times that of the simple water-soluble tetracyclines. Minocycline is the most lipid-soluble of the tetracycline class antibiotics, giving it the greatest penetration into the prostate and brain, but also the greatest amount of central nervous system-related side effects, such as vertigo. A common side effect is diarrhea. Uncommon side effects include skin discoloration and autoimmune disorders that are not seen with other drugs in the class. Minocycline is a relatively poor tetracycline class antibiotic choice for urinary pathogens sensitive to this antibiotic class, as its solubility in water and levels in the urine are less than all other tetracyclines. Minocycline is metabolized by the liver and is poor urinary excretion. Minocycline is not a naturally occurring antibiotic, but was synthesized semi-synthetically from natural tetracycline antibiotics by Ledel Laboratories in 1972, and marketed by them under the brand name Minocin. Medical Uses Minocycline and Exocycline are frequently used for the treatment of acne vulgaris. Both of these closely related antibiotics have similar levels of efficacy, although dexacycline has a slightly lower risk of adverse side effects. Historically, minocycline has been a very effective treatment for acne vulgaris. However, acne that is caused by antibiotic-resistant bacteria is a growing problem in many countries. In Europe and North America, a significant number of acne patients no longer respond well to treatment with tetracycline family antibiotics because their acne symptoms are caused by bacteria that are resistant to these antibiotics. Minocycline is also used for other skin infections such as MRSA as well as Lyme disease, as the one pill twice daily 100 mg dosage is far easier for patients than the four times a day required with tetracycline or oxytetracycline. Its activity against Lyme disease is enhanced by its superior ability to cross the blood-brain barrier. Although minocycline's broader spectrum of activity, compared with other members of the group, includes activity against Neisseria meningitidis, its use as a prophylaxis is no longer recommended because of side effects. It may be used to treat certain strains of MRSA infection and a disease caused by drug-resistant Acentobacter. Both minocycline and exocycline have shown effectiveness in asthma due to immune suppressing effects. Minocycline as well as dexacycline have modest effectiveness in treating rheumatoid arthritis. It is recognized as ADMARDS by the American College of Rheumatology, which recommends its use as a treatment for rheumatoid arthritis. A list of indications for which minocycline has been used include amoebic dysentery, anthrax, bubonic plague, cholera. Elishiosis, gonorrhea, gaudrat cartide syndrome, hydrodenitis suppurativa, heva euro for use as an adjuvant to HAART, periodontal disease, perioral dermatitis, respiratory infections such as pneumonia, Rocky Mountain spotted fever, rosacea, syphilis, urinary tract infections, rectal infections, and infections of the cervix caused by certain microbes, cautions. Contrary to most other tetracycline antibiotics, minocycline may be used in renal impairment, but may aggravate systemic lupus erythematosus. It may also trigger or unmask autoimmune hepatitis. Also, more so than other tetracyclines, minocycline can cause the rare condition of secondary intracranial hypertension which has initial symptoms of headache, visual disturbances, dizziness, vomiting, and confusion. Cerebral edema, as well as autoimmune rheumatoid arthritis are rare side effects to minocycline in some people. Minocycline, like most tetracyclines, becomes dangerous past its expiration date. While most prescription drugs lose potency after their expiration dates, tetracyclines are known to become toxic over time. Expired tetracyclines can cause serious damage to the kidney due to the formation of a degradation product and hydrophoropetetracycline. Minocycline's absorption is impaired if taken at the same time of day as calcium or iron supplements. Unlike some of the other tetracycline group antibiotics, it can be taken with calcium-rich foods such as milk, 
although this dose reduced the absorption slightly. Minocycline should be taken with plenty of water. If taking this drug, one should avoid prolonged or excessive exposure to direct sunlight. A study published in 2007, suggested that minocycline harms ALS patients. Patients on minocycline declined more rapidly than those on placebo. The mechanism of this side effect is unknown, although a hypothesis is that the drug exacerbated an autoimmune component of the primary disease. According to the researcher from Columbia University the effect does not seem to be dose-dependent because the patients on high doses did not do worse than those on the low doses. Side effects Minocycline may cause upset stomach, diarrhea, dizziness, unsteadiness, drowsiness, mouth sores, headache and vomiting. Minocycline increases sensitivity to sunlight. Minocycline may affect quality of sleep and rarely cause sleep disorders. It has also been linked to cases of lupus. Prolonged use of minocycline over an extended period of time can lead to blue-gray skin and blue-gray staining of scar tissue is not permanent but it can take a very long time for the skin color to return to normal. On the other hand a muddy brown skin color in Sunday exposed areas is usually a permanent skin discoloration. Permanent blue discoloration of gums or teeth discoloration may also occur. Rare but serious side effects include fever, yellowing of the eyes or skin, stomach pain, sore throat, vision changes, and mental changes, including depersonalization. Occasionally minor cycline therapy may result in autoimmune disorders such as drug-related lupus and autoimmune hepatitis. Minor cycline-induced autoimmune hepatitis when it occurs usually occurs in men who also developed minor cycline-induced lupus, however, women are the most likely to develop minor cycline-induced lupus. Significant or complete recovery occurs in most people who develop minor cycline-induced autoimmune problems within a period of a couple of weeks to a year of cessation of minor cycline therapy. Autoimmune problems emerge during chronic therapy but can sometimes occur after only short courses of a couple of weeks of therapy. Drug reaction with eosinophilia and systemic symptoms syndrome can occur during the first few weeks of therapy with minor cycline. Minor cycline but not other tetracyclines, can cause vestibular disturbances with dizziness, ataxia, vertigo and tinnitus. These effects are again thought to be related to minor cyclines' greater penetration into the central nervous system. Vestibular side effects are much more common in women than in men, occurring in 50% to 70% of women receiving minor cycline. As a result of the frequency of this bothersome side effect, Minor cycline is rarely used in female patients. Symptoms of an allergic reaction include rash, itching, swelling, severe dizziness, and trouble breathing. Minor cycline has also been reported to very rarely cause idiopathic intracranial hypertension, a side effect also more common in female patients, potentially leading to permanent vision damage. Thyroid cancer has been reported in the post-marketing setting in association with minor cycline products. When minor cycline therapy is given over prolonged periods, monitoring for signs of thyroid cancer should be considered. In 2009, the FDA added minor cycline to its adverse event reporting system. A list of medications under investigation by the FDA for potential safety issues. The AURS cites a potential link between the use of minor cycline products and autoimmune disease in pediatric patients. Anti-inflammatory and neuroprotective, in various models of neurodegenerative disease, minor cycline has demonstrated neurorestorative as well as neuroprotective properties. Neurodegenerative diseases such as Huntington's disease and Parkinson's disease have shown a particularly beneficial response to minor cycline in research studies and an antipsychotic benefit has been found in people with schizophrenia and minor cycline is proposed as a possible add-on therapy for some schizophrenics. Current research is examining the possible neuroprotective and anti-inflammatory effects of minor cycline against progression of a group of neurodegenerative disorders including multiple sclerosis, rheumatoid arthritis, Huntington's disease, and Parkinson's disease. As mentioned above, minor cycline harms ALS patients. Minor cycline is also known to indirectly inhibit inducible nitric oxide synthase. In the Journal of the American Medical Association, 
Chris Zink, Janice Clements, and colleagues from Johns Hopkins University reported that minocycline may exhibit neuroprotective action against AIDS dementia complex by inhibiting macrophage inflammation and HIV replication in the brain and cerebrospinal fluid. Minocycline may suppress viral replication by reducing T cell activation. The neuroprotective action of minocycline may include its inhibitory effect on 5 lipoxygenase, an inflammatory enzyme associated with brain aging and the antibiotic is being studied for use in Alzheimer's disease patients. Minocycline may also exert neuroprotective effects independent of its anti-inflammatory properties. Minocycline also has been used as a last-ditch treatment for shock shoplasmosis in AIDS patients. Minocycline is somewhat neuroprotective in mouse models of Huntington's disease. As an anti-inflammatory, minocycline inhibits apoptosis via attenuation of TNF-alpha, Dowangulating pro inflammatory cytokine output. This effect is mediated by a direct action of minocycline on the activated T cells and on microglia, which results in the decreased ability of T cells to contact microglia, which impairs cytokine production in T cell microglia signal transduction. Minocycline also inhibits microglial activation through blockade of NF kappa B nuclear translocation. A 2007 study reported the impact of the antibiotic minocycline on clinical and magnetic resonance imaging outcomes and serum immune molecules in 40 milliseconds patients over 24 months of open-label minocycline treatment. Despite a moderately high pretreatment relapse rate in the patient group prior to treatment, no relapses occurred between months 6 and 24 on minocycline. Also, Despite significant MRI disease activity pretreatment, the only patient with gadolinium enhancing lesions on MRI at 12 and 24 months was on half dose minocycline. Levels of interleukin 12, which at high levels might antagonize the pro inflammatory IL 12 receptor, were elevated over 18 months of treatment, as were levels of soluble vascular cell adhesion molecule 1. The activity of matrix metalloproteinase 9 was decreased by treatment. Clinical and MRI outcomes in this study were supported by systemic immunological changes and call for further investigation of minocycline in MIS. A recent study found that patients taking 200 mg of minocycline for 5 days within 24 hours of an ischemic stroke showed an improvement in functional state and stroke severity over a period of 3 months compared with patients receiving placebo. Trade names and availability, minocycline is no longer covered by patent and is therefore marketed under several trade names, minomycin, acumen, minocin, minoderm, cyclomycin, arestin, acnemin, saladin, dinarcine, spimin, minotabs, acnemino, minopin, maracin 2, quatrocin, minox, minos, divain, Dentomycin Stonebridge Pharma also markets minocycline as clear of UM in combination with sterilidilid cleanser and the treatment of rosacea blepharitis. Research Early research has found a tentative benefit from minocycline in schizophrenia, with several trials underway. References External links New Zealand Data Sheet May 2002, minocycline on drugs.com, minocycline on medicinenet.com Minor cycline to treat childhood regressive autism, 1.